Where and when there is need, Utah is once again stepping up to help others, this time in Ukraine, with a new program announced today. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph is live at the airport tonight and answers a question that a lot of us have been asking. What can we do? Spencer. Yeah, absolutely. And tonight, there's actually multiple new options of what Utahns can do to help Ukraine. Now, the first of those is there's a fund set up to donate money that will actually be matched up to $2 million and already has been matched up to $2 million. The second is donations of specific things that will then be loaded onto a flight here later this month and flown directly to Europe to help. And this is our time to show up. My first reaction was, yes, we can help. Starting March 4th and running through the 14th, the state of Utah, along with a lot of benefactors, are launching a massive campaign to help Ukraine. Many people have asked, how can we help? This is our answer. Each dollar donated will be matched up to $2 million. Every dollar will help. Aside from money, they're asking for diapers, feminine hygiene products, children and adults' new shoes, socks, coats, waterproof jackets, warm hats, gloves, mittens, base layers, long underwear, emergency thermal blankets, and hand and foot warmers. Items can be donated at Megaplex Theaters, Smith's Ballpark, Daybreak Community, and Vivint Arena. All the items will then be flown on an Intermountain Life Flight plane to Europe. In times like this, we're all searching for what we can do to help heal. This campaign matters most to Ukrainian immigrants in Utah. Dear Utahns, the big trouble came to my motherland, Ukraine. This is the owner of Bon Bon Ice Cream. We spoke with him earlier this week as a Ukrainian business owner in Utah. There are hundreds of thousands of refugees on the border right now, mostly women and children. What is that like? personally to see the amount of support and, and to really stand together. I was here and I was taking videos and photos and I was sending it to my friends and my family in Ukraine. But I would rephrase the question, what does it mean for them? That means a lot. With so many refugees trying to escape the country of Ukraine, aside from aid, I asked the governor his thoughts on accepting refugees into the state. We are in the very early stages of those conversations. We've uh, we've talked with our federal delegation. Um, we'll be talking with the uh, with the administration as those opportunities come up. Um, what, what I've told people is just plan on it. Just plan on it is that response to refugees from Ukraine potentially making their way to the state of Utah. Now, exactly the timeline that's going to happen to get that flight from here at Salt Lake International Airport to Eastern Europe is a little bit up in the air. They're trying to work out exactly where it's going to go and how they can deliver those supplies. But once that's figured out and everything's donated, it'll take about 36 hours from that moment to then get the supplies there and get them to those in need. Live at Salt Lake International Airport, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.